Clouds coming in from the east, clouds coming in from the west, and that's made way for a mostly cloudy day across South Florida. We can see those clouds overhead over the Jupiter Lighthouse camera. So those clouds have actually kept our temperatures below average today. The average high should be around 76 degrees, and we only reached the low 70s today. So we do have a bit of a warming trend on our hands tomorrow. Highs will be in the mid-70s, and we'll stay in the mid-70s through the weekend. And Christmas Day, highs will top out in the upper 70s, but at least we'll stay in the 70s over the next seven days. Can't complain. It's December here in South Florida. Temperatures running in the 60s across town. We do have breezy winds, and on that breeze, a few fast-moving showers moving over 95 in the Turnpike right across South County. So more of the same into the night. Can't rule out the chance for a quick-moving shower. Otherwise, we're pretty cloudy into the night, and that will keep our temperatures a bit warmer compared to what we felt over the last couple of nights. We'll be down to the upper 60s through the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, waking up to temperatures in the low 60s in some spots, but 50s up along the Treasure Coast. High pressure now in control of the forecast. You can see this is producing an onshore flow. So what this is doing here is taking that warmer ocean air and pushing it onshore, which is why we have a bit of a warming trend on our hands. In terms of rainfall, we could see a few isolated fast-moving showers tomorrow and also Friday, and a few more showers for the weekend with more of an onshore flow as high pressure scoots offshore here. As we head into early next week, temperatures will be a little closer to average and we'll have a better chance of rainfall as a cold front starts to move into the area. This won't sweep through until the middle of next week. So your Christmas Day forecast highs in the upper 70s, a 40% chance for scattered showers and Christmas Eve a high of 76 degrees. Small craft advisory issued for our boaters. Seas running five to nine feet even our inland waters will be pretty rough. It's going to be bumpy on the water, not just today, but through the weekend as well, because we're going to be dealing with breezy winds through the weekend. Rip current threat will be high, so around those lifeguards, you know what to do. 50s and low 60s, so again, not as cold as what we felt last night, but still on the chilly side. And for tomorrow, highs will top out in the low to mid 70s, so very comfortable for this time of year. The humidity will stay low over the next seven days. Rain chances will start to increase by early next week. We're looking at about a 40% chance for scattered showers.